is your first alert five weather with Jessica Van Meter. Welcome back to News 5 at 6. Of course, one more day left and then we're heading into the weekend. And after a chilly day today, we're certainly looking forward to that weekend. A great forecast in store for you. Temperatures will improve into the upper 50s, even close to 60 around Colorado Springs this weekend. We should see a lot of sunshine and some calmer conditions. Pueblo temperatures in the low 60s. Sunshine will be abundant and winds also staying on the light side. So be sure to make those plans heading into the weekend. Temperatures will be very nice, especially compared to what we've dealt with so far far today. Pueblo, many areas this morning starting off in the single digits and we're still pretty chilly heading into the evening hours. 29 right now in Colorado Springs. You factor in that wind. It feels more like 19, 30 right now in Pueblo, but the wind chill makes it feel like 23 degrees. So you still need to bundle up if you are heading out this evening or early tomorrow morning. Temperatures won't be quite as cold as they were this morning, though we're heading in the right direction with those temperatures. As far as any snow, we haven't seen a whole lot, just a little bit of activity along the Palmer Divide, some very light flurries falling for those folks right there. But we are going to have the chance for that to continue this evening and overnight. The hour by hour forecast painting some snow across the Palmer Divide, the western areas of El Paso County into Teller County. Could even see a little bit of the flakage getting close to the Colorado Springs area. We're not expecting much in the way of accumulation, maybe around one to three inches at most for a few areas right along the divide and up close towards Pikes Peak. Any of that snow dissipates after midnight heading into Friday. A warm start to the day compared to today will be in the teens and 20s heading into your Friday morning. We'll warm up throughout the day tomorrow. 40s, 50s for our highs for many areas. We will have a bit of a wind chill factor with some gusty winds, but overall a big improvement from what we had today. Forecasted wind speeds will be strong tomorrow morning, already 15 to 25 miles per hour sustained speeds. We will have some gusts on top of that, giving us that wind chill factor for tomorrow. Winds continue to stay strong into the afternoon hours and with those dry conditions and gusty winds, slightly warmer temperatures. We are going to have some fire danger issues for tomorrow. Red flag warnings will be in effect from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. for nearly everywhere across the lower elevation area. So you really want to avoid anything that could potentially start a fire throughout the day tomorrow. Those winds do ease up as we head into the weekend. The weekend is looking great. Temperatures staying in the upper 50s to low 60s around Colorado Springs. 50s by Monday heading into the new week. If we do see any more chances for precipitation, looks like it's going to hold off until Thursday night into Friday. We'll be keeping an eye on that. And Pueblo temperatures down into the 20s today. Not quite as cold. We warm up pretty quickly heading towards the weekend. After a windy day on Friday, we're back into the low 60s for Saturday and Sunday. 50s heading into the new work and school week. Canyon City will be in the 20s for tonight. Back into the 50s tomorrow. Red flag warnings will be with many areas for tomorrow. And then winds do calm down as we get into the weekend. Looking very nice. And even as we start the new work and uh, school week, things looking pretty decent. Woodland Park still in the teens for tonight. Back into the 40s starting tomorrow. We will We'll have some windy conditions tomorrow and then things really looking very nice for that weekend and we're going to keep those very pleasant conditions around through at least Wednesday. By Thursday we could have some colder air moving in again and then Thursday into Friday our next chance at any precipitation we'll be keeping an eye on that.